Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look right here. I am once again using the Morphe James Charles palette and it's so pretty. I love this look so much. It's obviously like a Christmas look with the green, the red, and the gold. Like those are just Christmas colors. And I feel like I had a lot more luck with this look than I did in my last one. If you haven't seen that one, I will link it up here because that's my first impression of the palette. But I also feel like these colors worked better because it's all one shade. So today I'm doing Christmassy glam that I probably would never wear on Christmas, but it's just inspired by Christmas. It's a bright Christmas look and I feel like Christmas is about colors and brightness. I tried to do a Christmas look and I did like dark olive green with like a coppery red. I'm just gonna be uploading this one. I'm not uploading my other one because you yeah. go. If you want to see a picture of it, then it's right here. If you recreate this look or any of my other looks, be sure and tag me on Instagram. I really hope y'all enjoy this video and let's just get started. I went to Ulta to try and find the Morphe Eyelid Primer because that's what he was like, either MAC Paint Pot or even the Morphe Eyelid Primer. So I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna go pick that up. It said it was in stock. I went and it was out of stock. That's the reason I didn't film this this morning was because I was like, well, I'm gonna go to Ulta and get that. So I'm just using my Santi Super Smooth Concealer. Wow, this sponge is so much softer compared to that other one. I'm going in with the greens. So I'm going to start with the bright green social blade. I'm going to use it on this AOA Studio E132 and it's this very dense packing brush. I'm going to pack this in my crease like this. I haven't set my lid at all and I'm just going to pack it on and not worry about blending until all the color's on. That's what he always does. I don't know why I'm choosing to keep this inner part whatever but I'm just going to go ahead and blank that out. Now I'm just going to keep that brush. Now I'm going to take daddy. Pack that on the outer part. I probably should have done this one first just because it's darker and now it doesn't have anything to stick to. Now I'm going to take this E128 which is basically a bigger version of this one and I'm going to go in with the social blade shade again. Now I'm just going to take my setting powder and set the brow bone because I feel like there's not anything blending there because it's not set. I'm going back in with daddy. Oh, I feel like I just get such a weird blend around the edges. Once I get a hang of this palette, I want to do like a series like where I do the oranges, the reds, the pinks, the purples, the blues, the greens, and then the neutrals. We do a few neutral looks with it. I don't know, tell me if something you would be interested in. I'm just gonna pack some more of this on the lid on the inner part so it just actually stands out. I'm gonna add some white over top of this so that the inner corner is nice and bright. I'm gonna highlight my brow bone with ring light. I'm gonna go ahead and do my face off camera. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Natural Glow Lotion, AOA Studio Perfect BB Cream, Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. Set my face with the AOA Studio Perfect Powder. I'm not gonna show you because there's a bunch of powder in the lid, but you know what it looks like if you've seen any of my videos. Bronze with the e.l.f. Cool Bronzer. I'll be right back. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna start off precise E124. I'm gonna go straight in with your kidding. I'm gonna tap it off just because I don't want it to go on too pigmented at first. I'm gonna take this E131 with your kidding still. Make sure it's super bright next to my lash line. And then I think I'm gonna drag it out just a smidge. Keep it light, but I still feel like I need to tie it. In. I feel like that just elongates my eye. What I've been doing is taking flashback on the inner corner before anything else so that these colors won't be so vibrant that they peek through for the inner corner. That's basically the eyes. I'm gonna like do liner and stuff and I'll have a gold inner corner but I'm gonna go ahead and do my face just so that it's not disturbed because I want the inner corner to be as bright as possible. In the video I tried this shot and say makeup I didn't get to try the AOA Studio Perfect Blush and I just feel like this would go with this look and so is in wispy. I don't know how pigmented this is gonna be so I'm gonna tap in twice and tap it off. Okay so it's not really that pigmented which is nice because it's not like in your face but like it's still there. For highlight I haven't used this in a while because I've been trying to switch it up. I'm definitely using this today. So effects Makeup Revolution highlighting palette. I'm gonna go in with all three of these shades. <laughs> the shade so good. This might be too dark. Put it right there in the inner part of the lower lash line as well. I'm gonna put a little bit of ring light on top just to have some lightness there. I'm gonna put ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Workout on my tight liner. For lashes, I was gonna do Luella but I 
really feel like Alexis is just gonna frame this because it is kind of catty. The last thing we need to do is lips. I'm just gonna do a regular nude lip. I mean, you could do red with this, but like, the red is gonna make it look less red, if that makes sense, because if you have a hot red lip on, it's gonna make this look pink. So I'm going in with my LA Colors Lip Line and Pencil and Chocolate. As you can see, like the only ones I use are chocolate and smooth foam. These are like my two favorite lip liners just because they're dark but they blend in with light colors really well and then i'm gonna go in with maybelline matte lipstick and clay crush and then top it off with for the 12,000th time moon tide gloss and just tacking it out to make sure everything is well blended i feel like it should be a little lighter i'm just gonna take a little bit of the santi super smooth concealer on my finger and dab it in the center just to lighten everything up there we go this is the finished look i feel like the palette blended a lot better but it's also because like it's all one color pretty much so i feel like that kind of helped i really love this look and i hope y'all do too i feel like this would also look better if my hair was down but i really don't feel like it so I, yeah. I feel like this is so christmasy the green really reminds me of the grinch like i just keep thinking about the grinch and i really want to see the grinch again because the new grinch was so good many of y'all are going to be very mad at me for saying this but i think the new grinch was better so yeah i really hope y'all enjoyed this video if you did i would love it if you subscribe down below and please give this video a big thumbs up it means so much to me also please leave any video recommendations down below anything you want me to do for the new year anything you want to see any challenges with my friends leave anything down below that you want me to do for my channel next year i'm just really trying to improve my channel and my content so if you have any recommendations for an intro for an outro for music for rebranding my channel anything you want me to change next year just give me your suggestions and yeah i know what i was gonna say let me let me let me let me let me let me i'm so ready for christmas